welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have a what's in my travel bag. But first I want to give a shout out to Emily um, for asking to see these patches, which um, that's what I'm going to show you today. I apologize for the super close up because I'm working with a light that's right behind me and it just was too much of a hassle to move. So we're going to work with this kind of awkward camera angle-ish type thing. So the patches that I'm showing here are all from Sticky Club. They're not all of my patches, but they are the ones most recent that I either received from Sticky Club or that I've removed from um, whatever they were sticking on before. There are other ones, but I'm also gonna go ahead and show my paper clips, bookmark type things, and my erasers. So what I have all of these in is a travel jewelry case that I got years ago. And I don't really wear much jewelry, I mean, I wear a watch, a bracelet, and maybe a necklace. So I just turned this thing into something that would hold all of my bookmarks, patches, um, and binder clips and stuff like that. So at the very top, I have these uh, kind of awkward ones that don't really fit anywhere else. So, you know, we have this one with the ribbon and then one with a rose attached to it. And I think I got both of those as freebies from an Etsy shop. I've had them for a long time and I'm just now getting to kind of use them and have fun with them, I guess. So I have others with ribbons, but they're all in notebooks right now. So the next thing we have are these binder clips, which I got from various places. Um, these metallic ones that I'm pulling out are from AliExpress, and I honestly got them because I really liked the metallic colors. Um, they're, I, they're super useful. I use them for uh, like creative journaling or memory keeping. These bigger, bulkier ones are from the Dollar Tree, and then these copper ones came in a set that I think I got Ooh, maybe from Michaels, but I can't remember. But it came with all sorts of like swirly paper clips and um, you know binder clips. So I just kind of put them all together in the same container. Um, the next section, this is where all of the weirdly shaped ones are. Some are from Sticky Club subscriptions. Some I got in like a Zen Pop box, and some I may have bought. I don't know. I've had them for a long time. This one with the cookie edge is from Plain Your Spoons. Um, I love the Plain Your Spoons shop. I have a couple of different chronic conditions um, and they have pretty much every sticker I could ever need to track all of my symptoms. So they've sent me a couple of um, paper clips like this um, with uh, this little teardrop. It's like a teardrop shaped paper clip. I think I'm gonna pull it out in a second. And then it has a charm on it and they're super cute. Um, and super useful. I have, yeah, there it is, the cheer drop. I have another one that's in my, um, uh, like my health, my, my health tracker, my get your together tracker, like notebook, where I track my food and my health and everything like that and symptoms and things like that. So super useful. Um, and then we have these other ones. I know that the hat one, for example, came in a sticky club and the mountain, it was Mount Fuji, came in a Zen pop box. So I have all of these really nifty ones that are lots of different shapes. I don't use them as often as I should. Uh, down below, I have some mermaid shaped ones, mermaid tail ones, because well, why wouldn't I? Mermaids are fun. And um, I think I got those at Michael's. And then I have these little paper, well, they're not really paper. They're kind of like, um, I don't know. They're not cardboard, but they're, I don't even know how to describe them. Chipboard maybe, I don't remember. They're nice. Um, they're less useful than I'd like them to be. So there's that. Um, these bind, not binder, magnetic ones are from Michaels, and then these at the bottom are from Zen Pop. They're reusable. You're supposed to be able to write on them and label them and then erase, um, and then they have these little paper clips attached to them that you can remove. So I will usually use it until I'm trying to remove it. I'm trying to remove it and it's not going to work. Um, I usually use it till the paper starts to disintegrate, and then I'll take the paper clip off and just use it. So there is my paperclip and patch collection, and now we're gonna take a look at my erasers. Super cute erasers. Some are from Zen Pop. Um, I think the unicorn is, oh, I can't remember. I know the ball in the cup game is, uh, the lucky cat is. The sushi ones are from some friends of mine. They were a gift for the holidays. The adorable gerbil, the um, Japanese dessert one, and the little like bread type one. Those are both from Sticky Club, Sticky Club as well. All right, let's get into the video and find out what's in my bag. <laughs> okay, so this is my bag. Um, I take this thing with me everywhere. It lives in my backpack or on my desk, one of the two. I keep all of my pins on it, um, and you, you've seen those. So this is from the Delphonics, and I wanted this bag for so long, and then I finally have it, and I love it. 
It has outside pockets and I'm going to be honest, I don't really use them. And the reason I don't really use them, I think is because my backpack is so full that it just catches. And I have that problem with some of my pins. Um, my pins pretty much tell you who I am. So you're welcome to go pause the video if you want to find out. I always keep extra sticky notes in my bag just in case. These are from Zen Pop and then the big ones are from Simply Gilded. I can never have enough sticky notes. I need them everywhere I go. So there is that. Okay, let's open up and see what's inside. It looks full, but I promise it's, well, it's pretty full. So the first thing we have in here is a reusable sticker book that I made using some Happy Planner rings. Um, and I have a Happy Planner like hole punch. And I just take any uh, samples that I get and separate them out into this. Makes it super easy. Carry it with me and then anytime I need a sticker in my bullet journal or planner, I have them available. The next thing I carry are about four washi tapes that are current to the theme in my bullet journal. I change these out probably weekly. Um, and I, you know, some weeks I use them a lot and some weeks I don't, so there's that. Um, right now there are various ones. I have two, the two middle ones are from Simply Gilded. And the other two are maybe from Michael's. I apologize, I have a cat, a horse cat meowing in the back because he wants to be let out and I'm giving that a firm no. Um, and uh, so yes, yeah, so that's those are those. In the other pockets I keep things that are fairly um, useful year round. So the first thing I have is this dot line compact from the Zen Pop box. It's essentially like roll-on adhesive, like tape, really useful to have on hand. The other things that I have in here, we have a pencil sharpener also from Zen Pop. Super nice to have just in case, um, again, some weeks I need it and some weeks I don't, but I like having it um, for whenever I need it, I have a pencil. I also have in here two different erasers. The first is just a standard eraser. Um, oh, actually, first I'm gonna show the compact scissors. I got these from AliExpress, but I actually also got another pair from Simply Gilded, which honestly I should probably change out for that one and have that like be back up. Um, so here's the first eraser, again, from a Zen Pop box. Um, just your regular standard eraser, and then I have a kneadable eraser. I don't do as much sketching as I'd like to on regular paper, but when I do, it's really nice to have a kneaded eraser. And to be honest, sometimes I'll use the kneaded eraser in my bullet journal over the other like regular standard eraser. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to remember what the next thing that I pull out is, and it's probably my everyday washi. So I keep two rolls of washi at all times in my bag. They're both from Simply Gilded, and they're just kind of emergency washi, like, oh, I need a piece of tape, or oh, I need to separate something out. So they're there. I carry two other bags inside my bag and these are the pens and markers that I'm using in my bullet journal for the month. I have so many pens and I really don't like using them for too long because I like changing them out so I switch them out. So right now what I just pulled out was I think um, Sadasa pens and pastel colors and then these are the color in markers that have bullet tips and um, brush tips and I have so many of them they don't all fit so I pull out four or five that I keep inside my bag. Those are the ones that I'm using for the week to color and do things in my bullet journal and in my habit trackers. So I'm just gonna, yeah, there they are. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the two nibs. So the first one, I believe, yeah, there they are. Bullet tip and the pink is the brush tip. They're really good markers. I honestly, I, I kind of almost like them better than the Crayola Super Tips only because they're smaller um, and I, I have an, uh, maybe an easier time with them. I don't know, but I mean, I like my Crayola Super Tips too. So, I mean, I have multiple options. It's not like I'm holding myself back in any form or fashion. Um, in case you're wondering, the weird camera angle is because my regular tripod is at school. And so I'm using this weird tripod that I have. This is a mini pen, came in a Zen Pop box. I keep it in there in case someone asks for a pen because I don't want to give mine away. Um, mechanical pencil, pretty standard. I think it came in a scrawler. No, no, no. I got it when I went to a new opening of an art store. It was like a freebie that they gave. So um, this is me trying to center the camera. I'm such awful with this other tripod. It's really weird. So just a regular mechanical pencil. Um, uh, this is a ruler, came in a Zen Pop box. Super nice, super cute really sturdy um, considering it's plastic so I really like that. 
a microperm of size 03 from a Simply Gilded box. Really good for writing on like glossy sticker paper. I really enjoy having that. A really nice, fun, clickable hedgehog pen came from some friends for Christmas and I just love it. Super nice to have. A standard pencil. This is your standard regular pencil. The pencil it has no eraser, hence the eraser. Um, it also came in a Zen Pop box and so I keep it with me. I, I honestly use regular pencils more than I do mechanical ones. I know. I know. I need to get in the, this day and age. So this file came from, again, a Zen Pop box. I don't know if you can tell that I get them a lot. But I keep stickers in it that I use kind of regularly. So you can kind of see some of my chronic conditions here. Migraines, pain. Um, I have conditions that kind of can cause me to, well, if I'm not careful, I overdo things. I have anxiety. Um, and also these are some of my favorite shops. Crafty Planner um, and uh, Planner Spoons are definitely some of my top shops. And I'll link them down below for you as well. Um, these are ones that I often look that I often look through. Like I do, I have a lot of plants, so having those stickers is nice. Um, Lux Kitty Designs, a lot of great stickers, and Die Cope is also probably in my top five shops. Um, speaking of, maybe maybe a walkthrough of my top five shops would be a good video to do. Let me know down in the comments below if that's something you'd like to see. The last set of stickers in here is again for my monthly theme for my bullet journal. This month's theme was like flowers, but also transition, so harvest and transitioning from like summer flowers to fall harvest. Um, so I've got some vintage planner in there. I've got sticky club. I think I have uh, most simply gilded and die cope stickers. There they are again. And then of course, two sheets of extra stickers that I know I probably will reference regularly. And I can tell you now that I filmed that video, I don't think most of those stickers are left, at least on the extra sticker sheets. Well, thanks for watching. Give this video a like and a subscribe if it's your first time here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.